Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel BD and for today what we have in here, it's not a recent game but it is Kerbal Space Program, a game that I never tried before, this game is developed by the squad studios I guess or probably squad games whatever the name and they are using the unity engine so this game was released in 2015 so it means that by the time of this video this game has now uh, something like three years old but I decided to benchmark it first because uh, I am a humble, humble monthly bundle subscriber so this month they are offering Kerbal Space Program, Ruiner and um, Dead Rising 4 if you pay uh, 12 bucks for the Humble Bundle, so I paid for it and I got this game, Ruiner and Dead Rising 4, okay, that is why I'm benchmarking it. So first things first, uh, here are the settings, I'm going to test this game with two different settings. This is the, the maximum settings, what I consider to be the maximum as you can see. Not all of the bars are uh, at its maximum because uh, some of them are not graphics related. Okay, but uh, for me, I think the most uh, appropriate settings for you to play is to use uh, the default settings. So as you can see, native resolution, instead of 8 times multi-sampling, we get 2 times. No V-Sync, no frame rate lock, there is a downgrade in pixel white. And uh, especially on terrain detail and stuff like that, it gets a downgrade. And textures was at half resolution. But since this game doesn't consume too much VRAM, you can use the full resolution if you want. Okay, so here are the details for both the, the settings. So with the maximum settings, the game struggles to sustain 30 frames per second. And with the default, you can see that the game runs above those 30 frames per second so that is why i recommend you to use the default raise the textures and you should be okay to play it so the scenario that i used to to make this benchmark it was quite simple i used it um, when we send a spaceship to the moon uh, not to the moon but to the orbits and i tried to look always to the to our planet and so when you do that the frame rate really gets a, an impact but when you look to space for example you get almost like 100 frames per second almost okay you get almost like 100 frames per second because the space in this game it is empty but when you overview our planet it really punishes your graphic card so this is probably the worst case scenario and it will only happen when you launch the spaceship or when you overview your investigation campus because apart from that the performance won't be a problem and this game it is mostly about being uh, investigating and uh, tweaking stuff for you to spend to send the spaceship so probably you will spend more time in this game try to tweak values and stuff like that then embracing the gameplay that is to send the damn spaceship to the damn <laughs> to the damn space okay space so this is all i can talk about Kerbal space program i'm not sure if i made in here a good job or not related talking to the game but these are these are the best results because i don't understand too much about this game and honestly i just made this benchmark because i have the game now and so i think i can cover it a little bit for you guys and uh, i decided to release this video for you to know by the time of this video this game costs 40 bucks uh, but if you want to get it cheaper you can get it on kingwin and to be honest i was checking out and it was much more cheaper through there so you have a link on the description if you want to go there and if you use that link, you will be supporting the channel, okay? You are not going to pay more, you are just supporting it. Uh, also, if you are watching this video uh, not too much later than I did release it, you still have this deal on the Humble Monthly Bundle, so you pay $12 and you get this game plus Ruiner plus Dead Rising 4 and many other games that will be released by the end of the month so i think it's the greater deal but if you are watching this one month after i released this video probably that deal is not available anymore okay so guys that's all hope i was helpful to you hope, uh, hope you did enjoy the video and i do hope to see you soon goodbye